Okay, so we've made a landing net to complement the rods, starting with the head end. Now most nets are 42 inches, we've gone for 44 inch arms, so slightly bigger, hoping for bigger carp like you do. Uh, the actual mesh itself is nice and deep, which is really important to me. A lot of the nets I see now and nets that I've used in the past are just too shallow. Now as carp anglers, certainly myself and I know my friends do the same thing, we, we almost use our landing nets as, as a keep net. You know, or at least for a short space of time. You know, you get a fish into the net, net the fish, poke the pole into the bank, unhook the fish, and the most important thing is getting that rod back out as quickly as possible. It doesn't matter if bites are coming every hour, if there's hundreds of carp in the lake, or even if it's a low stock lake and there's only you're only expecting half a dozen bites a year. It's always important to get that rod back out as quickly as you possibly can. So I, I always insist on a deep mesh. Uh, the mesh itself is lovely and soft, eight mil, eight mil holes, or well, to the older anglers amongst you, you'll remember that as being called minnow mesh. We've got sacking around the outside, sort of strengthens it up. You know what it's like, a lot of landing nets on the corner, you end up with the, the arms poking through, no good. So we've got the sacking material there, which is all the more stronger. And obviously we've got lovely little curved aluminium bits here as well, which sort of stops it poking through. Uh, the actual finish of the arms and the pole is the same as on the rods, the same chunky wrap. The block itself is incredibly strong. You know, don't be fooled by the fact it's plastic. It's not your average plastic. It's an engineering plastic, really, really strong. And obviously it has the added advantage of being a lot lighter than an aluminium. Uh, that's pinned and bonded into the pole. So you're not gonna have no silly twist like you get with screw spreader blocks. So really, really strong there. We've got a taper on the pole, a slight reverse taper. So it's actually slightly thicker at this end than what it is at the other end, which again helps to stiffen it up at the head end. And as an, a little advantage as well, I like the fact that it's a bit thinner at this end. It makes it all the easier to poke into the bank. Got a textured grip there as well, nice and comfortable. Lovely little logo, the ESP logo, same as on the underside of the rods. And we've got the, the trademark little red bands like you do. And so that's about it. What more can you say? Really reliable net, strong piece of kit, likely to last you years and years and years.